Hello, I'm Gary Preston from Grace Faith Christian Discipleship Bible Study. A few days ago I did a short video from 1 John 4 verse 1 which says, Do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God. Now the feedback and comments that I got from that video are what has prompted me to prepare this video on deliverance ministries or what the Bible says about deliverance. So let's go to Colossians and we're going to read chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. Giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet, or qualified, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. When God the Father, God the Father, delivers us, delivers us from the power of darkness into the kingdom of his dear Son, he does not need the help of any man for deliverance. One thing I know about our God is he is the God of absolutes. When he says he has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, that job is complete. So I fail to see where there is any need for deliverance of a born-again Christian in this age of grace. There is one-time deliverance, total package deliverance, and that is at the new birth when God the Father delivers us from the power of darkness and translates us into the kingdom of his dear son. Let's read some more. A person who has been delivered by God, Colossians 1.13, at the new birth, then sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, Ephesians 1 verse 13 and Ephesians 4 verse 30, in that instant of time, one, their spirit is born again, a new creation in Christ Jesus, and two, their body is instantly made the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sure, Luke 11 verses 24 to 26 speaks of demons returning to the empty, vacant body of a man. Of course, that man is alive. But the body of a born-again person is not empty, nor is it vacant as it has the Holy Spirit himself dwelling in it. He, the Holy Spirit, has promised that he will never leave nor forsake us. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Furthermore, the Holy Spirit does not share his temple with any demon. The word says about the soul of the born-again saint that it is to be transformed by the renewing of their mind by the word of God, Romans 12.2, not through deliverance by any man. Romans 12.2 is a process and it's the responsibility of the born-again person themselves to continuously and diligently read the Word, 2 Timothy 2.15, and to do the Word, James 1, verses 22 and 23. God bless you. This is Gary Preston from Grace Faith Christian Discipleship, signing off for today.